Welcome to the File Aid for IMS Browse and Edit module. Here you will learn about the capabilities of and the commands driving a Browse or Edit session. The Browse and Edit functions provide three viewing modes, Character, Formatted, and Unformatted. There is a large command set consisting of primary and line commands and the database navigation is tailored to IMS. We will review all of these topics. The focus will be on editing and the user is assumed to have a sufficient IMS knowledge base. We begin at the primary menu and choose option 2 for the editor. On the first panel, we specify the region type for the database, the DBD lib, and the database name. If the database has been defined with a secondary index, FileAid may use it for navigation if desired. Also, segment types may be excluded from the display if desired on a subsequent panel. For viewing in formatted mode, the appropriate XREF dataset and member name are chosen along with the segment layout library. An audit trail containing segment before and after images is available if desired. Finally, logging may be requested where necessary. The next panel allows exclusion of segments from the display. We will exclude none here, but we will revisit this panel later in the module. The next panel allows for dynamic allocation of datasets, which may not be available as shown here. Where this is the case, the user must enter the dataset name, which in turn will be recalled automatically with subsequent access to the same database. On the last panel before displaying the IMS data, the six available line commands are shown. Three for entering at the beginning of the database and three which allow key specification for immediate access to a specific segment. We will begin with the select formatted command which uses existing COBOL or PL1 segment layouts as templates for the data display. The result is shown here, the formatted viewing mode. Selecting unformatted mode displays the data in three-line vertical hex mode as shown here. Finally, selecting character mode displays the data as it would be seen in ISPF. That result is shown here. These viewing modes will be discussed separately following some general remarks. There are four familiar navigation commands used in all viewing modes and three others are used in the formatted and unformatted modes. Standard scroll amounts are used across all viewing modes. Several primary commands are used across all viewing modes. Most operate the same as in other editors. We will comment on four. The cancel command deserves a note of caution as it does not function as one might expect. First of all, it only applies to changes entered from the keyboard such as typing over existing values. It does not apply to the results of a change command which will be covered later in this module. The refresh command is available when concurrent updates may be allowed. The recovery command establishes checkpointing. 
Finally, the keys command displays a list of function keys. The defaults for the first 12 are shown here, and scrolling forward, the second 12 are shown here. We will look first at character viewing mode where multiple segments display concurrently. The physical data set and database name appear at the top. There are columns for line commands, segment levels and names, and the data values shown beneath a columns ruler. Segment key values are highlighted by color. Finally, the message line advises how to change viewing modes. With the display basics complete, we will review a number of primary and line commands. We begin with the change command. Recommended for new users, the letter C displays a template panel to complete the command. Before doing that, a caution is warranted. The results of a change command are committed immediately and may not be canceled. The change template, shown here, provides for the usual from and to values. The changes may be limited to a specific segment by name. Recall that the segment names appear on the display. The standard modifiers are available with next as the default. The search range includes the default no record, which goes beyond the current database record, record, which is contained within the current database record, and child, which extends to children of the current segment. Recall that a database record is a root and all of its dependent segments. The search proceeds through the database by using a series of get next calls. They may be limited here. While viewing in character mode, individual segment field names are not available, so start and end columns may be specified. The display includes a columns ruler for assistance here. Finally, the note at the bottom advises how to bypass the change command template. Moving on to the parent primary command, it is sensitive to the first segment in the display, here an order 30 segment. Requesting its parent displays the appropriate order 20 segment. Similarly, the root command will display the root of this order 20 segment, and that is shown here. We will comment on three of the line commands. Repeat all is designed to use on a segment that has dependents and literally repeat all of them. Pressing enter displays a new panel and a request for key specification. The key for the current root is shown and may be changed. The key for the level 2 segment must be changed if unique. The new value is shown here. There is a confirmation message and the new segments are shown. Note the new key value. The key command shown here on a root segment is used to search for another segment of the same type. Pressing enter displays the key specification panel. The message requests a key value for the desired segment. 
Here the operator has been changed and the new key value is in place. Pressing enter initiates the search and a confirmation message is displayed along with the segment. In this example, the command is placed on a level 3 segment and the key specification panel requests key values for three levels. The select command requests display of a segment in formatted mode shown here. After viewing numerous segments, all of the commands shown here will reposition the display to the beginning of the database. Finally, we will revisit the Exclude Segment panel where we have excluded three segments. Pressing Enter flags all as excluding a parent excludes its dependents. The next panel shows only routes for selection and select character displays only routes. We will now move on to the features of formatted viewing mode which displays only one segment at a time. As with character mode, the physical data set and database are identified. The current segment and its concatenated key are also shown. The fields in the segment layout are displayed to the left with field formats and the corresponding data values. The message line advises how to change viewing modes. Finally, we show a complete list of the formats. There are five primary commands which cause database movement away from the currently displayed segment. Child, Next, Parent, root, and twin. Moving on to the change command, the same advisory given in character mode applies here as well. The only thing to point out on the change command template is the ability to limit the search to a specific field name typically on the current segment layout. The exclude command allows for customizing the display by hiding less important data names. Pressing enter changes the color of the data names and allows using the X line command. Here single line and block exclusions are shown. Pressing enter again shows the result. The reset command redisplays the excluded lines and the exclude off command restores the original colors. This example is a reminder that the format allows FileAid to validate numeric fields and highlight in hex any offenders. The insert command provides for insertion of the current segment type. First, for a root, as shown here, with the key request panel, and for a level 3 segment shown here and the subsequent key request panel. This insert command names the segment type 
and specifies two values for the record type. The key specification panel is displayed and the two values are already in place. Just a few words here about unformatted viewing mode. No new commands are available, but it provides that nasty looking, but sometimes necessary view of a segment. Nuff said. The final topic covered in this module, bookmarking, allows for segment tagging or labeling for convenient redisplay. It works the same across all viewing modes. You may set a bookmark with a primary command and redisplay a marked segment also with a primary command. Segments may be marked with a line command in character mode. We will look at some examples. Here the mark command displays another panel where the mark is named and we see the confirmation message. Here a line command leads through the same sequence. This example shows how to redisplay a marked segment. The final example shows how to mark and name a segment with one command where pressing enter displays a confirmation message. This concludes this module. Thank you.